Hey guys, Antonio Zilli here. Welcome to a new video. Today, I am super psyched. It's because I just went to Walmart and I picked up my first ever Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy. It's the Battle Damage Herrerasaurus. We are also doing a mystery toy review. It's uh, the only clue I'll give you is it's smaller than this and it's another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy. Can you guess what it is? First of all, let's take a look at the packaging. So, um, I really like this um, very almost jungle-ish style down here. And then you have the volcano, Mount Saibo, in the background. That's, that's what the whole movie's about. There's a volcano awakening on the island. And everybody has to rec res oh, crap. rescue the dinosaurs. And like, that's why it's kind of like this capture cage style, which I absolutely love. Then when you turn it around, oh, also you have Blue and Owen right here, the main characters from the movie. You turn it around, and uh, Herrerasaurus, and here's some of the other dinosaurs you can get from the Battle Damage line. And by the way, this is Walmart exclusive. And um, it says activate Battle Damage, so like you kind of press it, and this door sort of slides open. And then like it reveals flesh and stuff. So, anyways, we're going to take this guy out of the box. So I haven't, this thing hasn't been out of the box for five seconds and it's already kicking a lot of butt. So um, you can immediately tell that the sculpt is amazing. Hang on, let it focus. Look at that fine detailing on the head. And um, I think there's some detailing inside the mouth too. Like you can see the, the gums right there are, are painted and sculpted. The tongue right there looks really nice. The roof, the roof of the mouth is kind of is green. I, they haven't been painted yet, which kind of sucks. I might, I might paint that. And um, so, uh, the and I like the color scheme choice. It's a little bit bland, um, like very like few colors. It's kind of like not really detailed, but I still love the um, the colors. So it, crap, no, not that yet. So we kind of had had this like brown running down the back. And the rest of the body is sort of a green, kind of lime color. It's a little bit darker than lime. And the eye is sort of a, uh, come on, focus. Crap. <clears throat> the eye is kind of like a yellow color. The, interestingly, this one actually has a pupil, while on the packaging, it has sort of a slit pupil. And compare that to this, it has a regular pupil. So as far as articulation goes, um, the mouth opens really wide. It opens really wide, so it's like <sighs> um, We also have movement in the neck. Very wide range of movement, which is awesome. And also the arms, they move up about this far. That's as far as I'd recommend. It might break if you go any further. And um, interestingly, Apart from the ball joint on the arm, there's also a hinge joint, so it can go out, which is awesome. That's the sound of my dog. She's walking around. And, uh, of course, this doesn't really count as articulation, but the action feature, if you um, press down on this door, as you already saw, it reveals, like, flesh. That's why it's called battle damage. Um, and also, the legs... Um, this one moves back about this far and this far forward. And interestingly, there's some extra articulation. It kind of swings out a little bit, if you can see that. Same thing with the other leg. Oh, and also, if um, this code right here, it connects to an app. So like you scan your dinosaur and it unlocks your a virtual dinosaur of the same species in a video game, which is really cool. It's called Jurassic Facts. That's the name of the app. And um, also, the best thing about this thing, no screw holes. Something I just noticed is that the, the legs have preset positions. So, like, it snaps into place. So, like, it snapped right here, and then it snaps right there, and then it snaps right here. So, like, say you want it to be, like, in a like kind of a 
pouncing position, like it's getting ready to jump on you or something. You can have it like that, which is really cool. Once again, this has no screw holes compared to some piece of crap like what I'm about to show you. This is the Jurassic World 2015 Hasbro Basher and Biter Tyrannosaurus Rex. This thing is, it already looks like garbage. Like you can see the eye, it's like a weird slit pupil. And um, it's got a very weird action feature, kind of awkward. Its mouth doesn't really open that wide. It also kind of bashes like that. It doesn't really, it doesn't really bash. Like you'd expect to be like, but it just wiggles. It wiggles. But when you turn it around, look at the beautiful screw holes. Oh boy. And this thing also suffers from very bland painting and kind of poor sculpting. It's very cheap. So Mattel really improved with their dinosaurs. This is just a smaller scale dinosaur. I'm definitely going to be reviewing more Fallen Kingdom toys on my channel later, like when they first release, because I got this one early. Don't tell anybody this. But um, I was at Walmart and there was this box that said, caution, do not open until April 16th. Well, I opened it anyway, which is, you probably shouldn't do that, but I opened it anyway and it had the, um, I opened two and it, um, I first saw the um, this, these, um, sets, like, um, and then I saw these, the battle damage assortment, and I was like, oh my gosh, so I, I bought this one, because I thought this one looks pretty cool, there was one of blue, you can see it, um, right here on the back packaging on the top left, that's blue, but its mouth kind of looks like it was about to fall off, I was gonna get blue, but its mouth looked like it was about to fall off any second, so I just went with the Herrera source. Ooh, one thing I noticed is that the tail is um, kind of a pliable rubber on the end. So it's like, you can kind of like slash stuff, like whip. Um, I guess this is kind of the real feel skin thing reborn, but for all of y'all that are not like hardcore Jurassic Park fans, Real feel skin is something that, that was from the old Jurassic Park toys where like the larger dinosaurs were made of like a kind of like soft rubber so it feels like like very fleshy like you're actually touching a real reptile but really this one is more realistic it's because it's kind of a more stiff rubber and when you think about it dinosaur skin would be a lot more armored than fleshy so anyways that was the review of the Herrerasaurus. Oh, I almost forgot. Now let's review the surprise toy. Ta-da! <laughs> it's um, the T-Rex Tracker Matchbox Set. So um, this is uh, the surprise toy. It's really cool. It was pretty cute looking because it's got a tiny little T-Rex and a, a, matchbo a matchbox truck. And I just thought it looked really cool. So I picked this one up as well. So let's take this one out of the box. So here's the tiny little playset out of its box. So first let's look at the T-Rex. Um, it does have one point of articulation and that is the jaw. Forgive me for my dirty fingernails, but it's got uh, like a, an articulating jaw, which is super cool. Uh, I might repaint this, it's like to be more of a dark brown, it's because the T-Rex in Jurassic Park and Jurassic World is more of like a, a, brown, like a dark brown than a like a kind of orange, orangey tan color that this is going for. And uh, the action of, uh, no, no, I'm not getting into that yet. So um, anyways, this thing has also got like a, a tail that's made of like a soft rubber. As a matter of fact, I think the whole thing is made of a soft rubber. So like you can move the head around. Um, you can, it's not kind of useless, but you can, I guess you could flop around the tiny little arms. Oh crap. The tail, the tail moves once again, and the legs can spread out because it's like a rubber, so you can make it look like it's walking. 
which is pretty cool. So next, let's look at the truck. Pretty decently detailed. It's like a capture cage truck, and it like it holds the T-Rex. So the, um, it took me a while to figure it out, before, like, but it has a feature like it opens, and I guess the driver puts like a piece of meat in the cage or something, and it attracts the T-Rex to walk in there. And then when it's um, all the way, oh crap, ugh, when it's all the way in there, um, it closes up. And then you have your own pet T-Rex. <laughs> and if you want things to go sideways, you can make it uh, like where the T-Rex breaks out and destroys the, the cage and uh, like then eats the driver or something. But then you could have a giant Herrerasaurus attack everything. I hope you enjoyed my video and also my stop motion. If you're interested in my channel and my content, I'd really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, share, subscribe, and also, you know, comment, you know, all that stuff. So, see you later. <laughs>